Personal question, okay? And it, and it stays between me and you, okay? Are you sexually active? Okay, look, don't even worry about that. I'm gonna give you something, go in the bathroom, and bring it back out to me, okay? Now you know what to do with that, right? You know what it is, okay? Y'all done, baby? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Lachey, baby, wait! Hey, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
You know, I feel like I come to work every day. My goal is to make sure that students are learning. I can't have this, this going on in my school. I cannot have this going on in my building. Now, you know, I mean, I try, to, I try to work with all of the students. I try to make us feel like we're on the same team. I try to make, make you feel like we're working together. But let me be really clear, son. I'm running this school. And when I'm running this school, that means that education comes first. And every time you disrupt what's happening in this building, you're not only selling yourself short, but you're selling everybody else in the building short. Now, the vow that I made to every single student in this school on the first day was that I was going to make sure that you learned. That simple. Anything that got in the way of you learning, it's my job to get rid of it. Now, at the same time, if you are getting in the way of somebody else learning, you got to go. Because I'm going to be real clear with you. I'm not changing. My expectations aren't going lower. They're only going to get higher. So you're either going to have to get with this program or you're going to have to find somewhere else to be. And to, first of all, I'll take that hat off in my office. Now, what I've seen over the last several weeks is that you just gone downhill. You're throwing yourself away, son. You can do so much better than you're doing. And you're going to let people influence you down the wrong road. Before you guys get into it, before you fight, before you do the wrong thing, all I'm asking that you do is ask this simple question. Is this more important than my education? Is this fight, is this altercation, is this issue, is this argument worth more than me learning what I need to learn? So y'all can sit there and, and, and now you don't have anything to say. But what I know is you better be trying to listen to this all the way on the inside. Because it's time out for playing games. Tree, that's all I have. I mean, that, that, that's all I have to say. I need you to get back to class. I need you to get back to work. And I need you, as you are walking down the hall, get yourself refocused. You can do this. You can do this. Since the first day you got here, I have been Team Tariq. I'm behind you, son. But I got, I got, I got to have you show me something. We're believing in you. We want better for you. You got to want it for yourself. You understand? All right, go ahead back to class. And pull those pants up. I'm not really sure how to make myself more clear than I already was. But let me be really clear with this. This is going to be the last time that I speak to you. This is going to be the last time that you're in this office. You got to do better because you know better. You understand that? Yes, sir. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. So you better get some stuff in your head about what you're going to do differently. Because if you go out of, out of this office today and do the same thing, you're going to get the same results. And those results are you're going to be sitting back in this chair. But I'm vowing to you right now that my response is not going to be this right here. I'm sick and tired of lecturing. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. Going back to class. Wrong. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You got it? Also, 
We have a parent meeting tonight at 6 p.m. Now listen, if your parents come, you will receive five additional bonus points on your next exam. Yes, ma'am. So you're telling us that if we bring our pets, we get five extra bonus points? Yes, that's what I'm saying. That makes no sense at all. Five additional bonus points? Who doesn't want five additional bonus points? It's just five. Uh, Besides, I'd love to meet your parents. Yes, sir. Well, can it be um, 10 extra points? The board says five additional bonus points. No more, no yes, less. Sir. Can you please tell me what you say? Oh, oh, really? <laughs> Pick that up. Pick it up. He, he can do this. Warm. He can pick it up no, himself. You can pick it up. Do we gotta do this? I just saw the divorce. Hey, no name calling in here, okay? <laughs> yes. No, I'm not gonna do that work, right? I believe you are going to do it because I know you don't want to fail. It's nothing new. You know what? Class is new. I knew you know how to do the work. I'm going to understand. What is going on? Nothing. I just don't want to do the work. Why not? Because it's boring. You know what? I know that you're going to do better. I know deep down that you can succeed. Yeah, well. You know what? You can go ahead. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm trying to be better. Uh, which shirt? 
Cutting the grass and going down to the car wash, washing a couple cars? Yeah, just washing um, Mr. Oyola's car and then cutting Mr. King's grass. Okay. There's a uh, parent teacher meeting today, tonight, tonight, I think. Tonight? You don't have to go. I mean, I don't want you to go. But you just asked me. I was just like, you know, could this Is it mandatory, Kareem? Is that seven? Yeah. Did you have fun today? Yeah, it was all right. Well, what time you got to be home? Around eight or nine. All right, we got time. That party last week. It was alright. Right. Who's that girl you was with? Jada, my best friend. Oh, it's your best friend? Why are you so focused? Like this to me. So, you know, it's a, a fair coming up you know, next weekend. You trying to go? Yeah. You got any money? Because I don't got no money. I don't know how you can get in. I ain't got <laughs> no, no money either. We can sneak in through this um, gate. That's, that's who it is. I don't know if I can get through a game. Well, why not? You getting in for free? So, I'm scared of heights. So you have the heights? <laughs> yeah. But you don't like roller coasters? That's why you said that? Yeah. Well, we gonna, I'm going to get you on a roller coaster. You know. I ain't afraid of heights. You ever been on the Ferris wheel? No. But that moves mm. slow, so we can start you off with that. Yeah, I like going to the Ferris, though. So we're going to do this tomorrow, right? It's about, it's about 8 o'clock in the time for you to get home.
and then slide your foot. What are you ladies in here doing? I'm practicing? Yes. Let me see what you got. I'm going to do it with you. Go ahead. Come on. Let's do it. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and five, six. I'm doing it. Which one? Y'all don't even know which way we going. What, what, what? We're going this way. You, it's just that. You just go down and then like that. Not. Y'all, well, y'all get it together. Call me back in here and I do it with you. I, I, I can't, I can't work like this. Your mom's funny. <laughs> oh my God. My mom's texting me. I have to go. You know, honey, I really had a hard day at work today. What'd you do at work? I mean, you won't believe what Leroy did. The man is Leroy, crazy, crazy Leroy. <laughs> the supervisor came in there and said, look, we got to lay some of y'all off. Because y'all are producer. Leroy just, just blurted out and said, I know you ain't talking about me. Not Leroy. Leroy crazy. You ain't mention nobody's name. <laughs> Leroy ain't got it all, I'm telling you. I mean, when the green gonna be ready? Cause I keep seeing all these apples and bananas. Look, look, I'm I'm working. I I, I had a rough day today myself, but I'm, I'm gonna get them ready. I'll tell you what. What do you want with them? I want some pinto beans. Okay. I want cornbread from scratch. Okay. Not no Jiffy. You know the kids like that. Stuff. Jiffy tastes like cake. Don't sleep on Jiffy. I tell you what. I, I, can you do that That's for me? That's the best cake bread I ever had. Can you do that for your husband? Huh? I mean, I make it from scratch, okay. and then the black skillet. You want some black skillet cornbread? I tell you what, that fried cornbread don't sound too bad. Uh, yeah. You look that up, and I, I do. You. Hey, baby. Bye, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. Oh, bye, honey. I bye. Had a great time. Okay, well, glad. I'm glad you were here. I didn't know she was here. You know, I'm glad you did. Yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> See, look, you ain't gonna walk into the door, baby. She can walk. See, all right. All right. Yeah, just make sure she didn't take that. She had a pocket with books. Look, hey, babe. Hey, sweetie. Ah! Look at my baby girl. There's like, something wrong with you, daddy. You know that, right? I just been missing you. I been mean, thinking about you on my job. I can't even sell them cars down there. You better sell them cars and think about her when you get off. <laughs> so how did you go to day at school? It was all right, but it was a test today. Oh yeah? How'd you I do? I think I did pretty good. You think? I know you did good. Just get it from rocking out the test. Be positive. Okay. Yes. All right. That's what we teach you here. Now. I know that there's going to be something going on at the school this evening. Now, I won't be able to go, but your mother will be able to go, okay? In between cooking pinto beans and fried cornbread, I guess I'll be and, and at your meeting. The fat bag. But look, i got to go back to work. But uh, you let it, you let daddy know everything that happened, okay? I'm going to talk. And of course, i say this for last. Your uncle, his wife and kids are coming this weekend. Yes, they are. <laughs> And you know when we get yes, together, it's crazy in this house. I did win. You know what? I'm going to beat them in Scrabble this year. You better, you better get your dictionary baby, baby. so you can learn some words. Uh, we playing bid week. No, nah, we're going to beat them in Scrabble this year. Well, I tell you what. It's going to be on. And you know how they love to see you dance? Have you been practicing so you can show your uncle? Uh, can I stay at Lachey's house today? I mean, over the weekend. Now, how rude is that? We just told you your uncle was coming, and, and you gonna, you want to stay with your friend? Honey, don't, the, the family house. first. Don't Come don't do now. that. No, you can stay with the Shea house anytime, all right? But this weekend is family time, okay? Now you know how your uncle loves you. You know that if anything happens to us, he'll take care of you. You know we put that in the will too. So that means that you're gonna be well taken care of. All right. Even if something was happening, you mean your mother, but nothing's gonna happen to us. So you ain't gotta worry about that. Okay. Now you know this Monday is the birthday of your grandmother. You know she was a dancer. She didn't get a chance to meet you, but she knew that you was gonna be very special. She did. And we're very proud of you. We you are. Know that. Okay. Okay. I don't have no ideas about going to go for the shades. Now, I've been over there. As a matter of fact, the daddy we very can pick up his car. <laughs> he still owes us for three months. I don't pick it up. Cause I was surprised that it'll go three months. <laughs> <laughs> but everything's gonna be alright. We're gonna have a great weekend and uh, spend some time with you. Okay. I know I've been working a lot of hours on it, but it's family time this weekend. Me and my brother. Yes. Yes. I can't wait. And them kids. Don't you wait. like to play with his kids? Cousins, first cousin. Okay. So get ready to go. Get ready for the night. Okay. Get that a hug. Oh. You gotta practice your dance too, baby. You gotta practice your dance, you and, and then your homework. You got you got okay, skills, just like right. your daddy. No, you better show them your mama skills. 
Hey, he ain't got that. Daddy still got it. You, you ain't got that. Don't, don't you hurt me. <laughs> Shoot, boy, you ain't, he ain't talking about nothing. Nothing. So nah, go in there and practice your dance, your all right? ain't making no noise, baby. I'll see you later here. All right, have a good time tonight. I know you do. I know you do. I can't believe first. she didn't want to see your brother. You know, when she was born, when she came out, I was wild up for her daddy. <laughs> you know, I read the Bible to her every she night. She was hungry. She wasn't looking for you. <laughs> oh, man. You want to have another? You better have another apple. <laughs> I'll take that. Here we go. They be with you. All just take me back. Well, I will tell you and your boys that y'all can come see me. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> crazy, man. Yeah. Mini me all day. Yeah, bro. You know, you know how you do, bro. I'm trying to keep that little joke out of trouble, man. Uh, all you can do is tell him, bro. You're going to do what you're going to do. You know, life happens. Yeah. Yeah, I got to give him something better to look at, though.
Where you at? I know you're in there. Oh, there you go. I see his feet. There you go. There you go. Talking about you hang up first. No, you hang up first. <laughs> Don't go doing that mess. Ma, that's what. That's, no, that's so childish. Good morning, Daddy. Hey, what's up, baby girl? How you doing? Not much. I want to talk to you right quick. What's up? Okay, is this boy named Devin at my school? And, you know, I'm kind of feeling him. Mm-hmm. But he chose another girl before me, though. He said, I'm not pretty. Do you think I'm pretty? Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? Duh, I have to be. I got my look from you. True. Uh, right? Me too. <laughs> but, yeah. but the other girl, she's like, she, she's like real dark skin or whatever, and she's like, like taller than me, and she's more developed. So I mean, it's... Baby girl, you're 14. Boys are stupid. You'll be okay. Well... Yeah, you're right. Boys are stupid. Well, Daddy, I gotta go. Have a good day at school. Thank you. I'll try. We really need your help. I mean, we can't do it all by ourselves. If you could just take 30 minutes to an hour at home to do homework with your child. Their grades are dropping. So what are you trying to say? That we're not doing a good job at home? No, no, that is not what I'm trying to say. That's what it sounds like to me. You work that out. 
Video Vixen. Yeah. You ain't gonna have one. Stop one. You're right. I ain't gonna have one. I'm gonna have more than one. I'm already just having like five. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs>
Wait. No. Ew. 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 Look at that. She eat applesauce on it. For this play, oh, so you, you know it's gonna play. be off the hook. I was here to ask you how was your day, but I, yeah. I don't need, need to say no further. Romeo no. and Juliet, <laughs> you gotta come see it. I will. I'll be right. there. Now I called, I called you in. Mm -hmm. um, one of your students, Lachey. You know yeah, I told Lachey. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, she came in with a stomach ache. Okay. And so I, yeah, she's all right. Yeah, she's okay, but um, I, you know, ran some t tests. I asked her some questions. You know, yeah. did she eat anything funny or anything? She said okay. no. So, you know, I asked her. You know, was she sexually active? Mm -hmm. And she stated yes. You know, and I told her it was between me and her, and um, I gave her a test because, you know, she hadn't ate anything mm -hmm. different or anything, and I gave her a test. And when she came back and I looked at the test results, she's pregnant. Yeah. Lachey, um, Lachey, 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 It's gonna be okay, okay? You know, I just, you know, just I'm like, I'm just gonna be Okay, go ahead, take, off to take, take your time, okay? I'm sorry. I'll be Thank here, you. all right? Have a good day. You too. But, I can't believe Colleen fought for me. Like, this is like, in my head. Bitch was on the other side of town fighting for you, right? But, okay, I'm, I don't wanna say this. this he texts me every night. Good night and everything. I think that's so sweet. I don't know. That's kind of agree. Well, that shit go. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> He's supposed to have money. What are you doing? Right? I don't know. I don't know. Everybody judges him by the way he looks. I don't think. I don't know. It's like, what up to me? Come on, girl. Let's go before we get yelled at again. I don't feel like getting that to your mouth. Hold up. What was that? What you mean?
Hey Kareem. What's up, Chanel? Are you waiting for your ride? Nah, I'm about to catch the bus. Um, well, my dad's on his way, so can you just like catch a ride with us? Nah, I'm good. I, I ride the bus. I ride the bus all the time. All right. So, how did you feel when Kiana read you know in front of the class? I tried to tune everybody laughing out, and then I was just trying to look at Jay. It, it was hilarious. It was, it was funny because like everybody was like, why would you write a note like that and then just like try to pass it? How come you couldn't just give it to her after class? I don't know. I was in a rush. I had to go to my other class. Alright, so why do you like Jada so much? Because she's different. Alright. Oh yeah, and you fought for her today. Like, why would you fight for a girl? Uh, Cause you can't talk to a girl any type of way and grab her. So my dad too. Yo, I told you I was gonna see you again, didn't I? Yes, man. Let's handle this. Hey man, what y'all trying to do, bro? What you think hey, we're trying up? to do? Hey, I don't want no problems. I'm just trying to get home. Oh, right? you started a problem when you hit me. You shouldn't have been touching the girl like that, bro. I didn't even touch her. Alright, that's enough, man. That's enough. Get up on him. Now, next time you get in my way, remember this. This is just confusing. Can you help me? Well, Angel, baby, didn't you learn this in school today? Yeah, but people are talking, and I couldn't really focus. This bowl is bothering me. But next time after class, ask your teacher for help. Okay. All right, do you need help with number one? All right. We got to divide two. Okay. Divide ten by two. Okay. How many times is two going to ten? Five. You put it up there? Do you know how to do the rest? Yeah. So why'd you ask me for help if you already know? Um, I don't know. Girl, do your homework. Ma, I'm really glad you got that new job. <laughs> I'm glad too, baby. Hello? This is she. What? But what happened? No, I'm coming right now. Okay. Mom, Hi. what's going on? Angel, baby, we gotta go to the hospital with us. Mom, what's going on? Don't worry about it, just come on. I'll get that, just come on. Life has conditions that give me false permission The hood give me a vision that often lands in prison So misguided, so misdirected Call it what you want, but I wanna be respected Don't know the value of it, don't know the worth People die for respect and respectfully in the dirt So I gotta be creative, handmade like the native You vacation lately, but don't educate the baby I'm home, TV on, I'm alone, daddy gone And we don't own anything, it's alone If I ain't robbing, I'm out sharecropping I'm Dreams from the block just ain't enough to plot I remain art, I retain the vision I'm perfecting the future, I'll show you just how I'm living Write about me, talk about me, just show me where the kids Let me show them the pitfall, show them how to live They know what I can do and what I do is outrageous They're afraid that it's gonna be contagious Forget the street fake loyalty What? Let's bring your life back to royalty Alright, I have everyone's homework? You all heard that we we have a student in the hospital mm. now. Bad, but just yes. How long is going to be in the hospital? Right now we don't know. We can just hope that we'll hope that he'll be okay. Yes. Where's that kid with the big head that's super? I'm not at liberty to say. 
Now look, I've purchased flowers and a card, so if any of you are interested in signing before you leave, just Thinking, should I just hook off on you? I'll talk to you. I'm still undecided. But I'm dressed up. Good job, homie. Leave them streets alone. So you want me trying to follow me doing that same stupid stuff? You already doing it. You want a criminal record, Joe? Huh? You know what that is? Gonna be the one thing to stop you from getting a job in the future, man. I've been there, bro. Stuff I did, man, can't take back. Can't get this experience, bro. Only reason I'm still out there is, man, because y'all, I got kids. I gotta stop that, too. Even that got an expiration date. I got this call, man. I don't know whether to let you sit up in there, let you go through some fights, let somebody knock your head off, or come and sit down and talk to you. So I'm talking to you right now. That's the decision I came up with. You know what I mean? Got yeah, a young cast today. So you talked to her this yeah. afternoon? I talked to her. And she okay. should be on her way. Okay, good. In a minute. We're just gonna sit here and wait. Okay. Cause she is so talented. She, she is. I hate to have to, you know, tell her mom. Okay. So it's just, gonna be okay. It is. We'll, we'll be here in here together, okay? Yeah. Her mom is real supportive too. That's good. So, that's good. <clears throat> they should be here any minute. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm gonna be okay, cause she, you know she has a lead part in the dance performance. Is that gonna hurt being? I'm not going Okay. Hey. Hey. Doing okay, baby? Yeah. Okay. Is it? Your mom okay? Mm -hmm. She on her way? Oh, okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? It's good to see you, you too. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Great Thank to see you. you, ladies. Good, good to see you, too. Well. Hey, honey. How are you? Good. Good. So I brought you all in here. Um, Lachey came to me with a stomach ache. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah. And mm -hmm. so we ran a few tests and everything. And I've already spoken with Miss Addington because, you know, she mentors Lachey. They're very mm -hmm. close. Yes. So um, I, I brought you in here to um, inform you that Lachey is pregnant. Now, I'm here for you. And I understand that that was a shock. but. Okay, you just said she came in for a stomach ache, mm -hmm. but then you said she's pregnant. Yes, ma'am. That's what the test results. So you're saying that Lachey is pregnant? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Ms. Addington, you're saying that Lachey is pregnant? Yes. So you ladies have said that Lachey is pregnant, but I haven't heard Lachey say anything. Lachey, I haven't heard you say anything. I'm You're pregnant. Lachey, have we not had this conversation before? Have I not explained to you that there's nothing that you can't talk to me about? Lachey Nicole, I'm talking to you.
You ask me to trust you. You say I don't listen. But this is where we're at. You're 14. You're pregnant. You barely can take care of yourself. And you have nothing to say for yourself. What do you have to say? A baby having a baby. Ladies, thank you. So thank you. For the time. Thank you. Thank you. Let us know if you need yeah, anything. We're here, okay? We're here. Get your stuff. Let's go. out there and his family. It's the weekend. We're going to have a lot of fun. I don't feel comfortable around him. Well, you don't feel comfortable around your uncle, honey. He's your uncle. He's the one that's going to have custody of you if something was to happen to you and your mother. I mean, why do you don't feel comfortable around your uncle? I just don't. Is there something that I need to know? Something you're not telling me? I mean, what's wrong? Now, honey, you know you can you can tell me anything. I mean, we we always said that in this house. You can go to your mother. You can come to me about anything, okay? And we'll listen to you, okay? So, is there something I need to know? Is there something you need to tell us that you don't feel comfortable? Well, when I was younger, my uncle Ron used to have me do inappropriate dances for him. Wait, 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 wait a minute, honey. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait. My brother had you dancing for him. Did he ever touch you? Get out of my yard and stay away from my family. 
free. You stay away from my family. You hear me? You're my brother no more. Good luck, buddy. Get out of here. How are you today? I'm all right. You okay? Yeah. Well, I had a meeting today. You had a meeting? Mm-hmm. Your name came up. My name came up? Why? About what? Um, Lachey was in here earlier. Lachey? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She came in here, she said her stomach hurts. Her stomach hurts? Mm-hmm. What they got to do with me? What that has to do with you? Okay. I mean, Messed around with it. I mean, once, twice. It ain't got nothing to do with me though. Oh, okay. So you did mess around with it. Yeah. Okay. So well, I just wanted to inform you that Lachey is pregnant. She pregnant? You telling me for it's not mine? It's not mine. It's not yours. It's not mine. Okay. Lachey gets around, yo. I use protection. Oh, okay. Okay, well, we'll um touch bases on this later. I just thought I might need to let you know because she said you were the only one she messed with. So, you know, we'll, we'll touch bases again, okay? Okay. Devin? What? Excuse me, sir? Yeah. Look, now you know you got to tell. Tell? Who I got to tell? Don't act like that. I haven't told her yet. Who is her? Your mom? You ain't telling my mom because it's not mine, yo. I already told you that. It's well, not mine. That's something you have to talk to her about, but I haven't said anything yet to her. Okay? Right. Okay. I can't believe that I'm pregnant. How am I gonna tell Devin that he's the father? I knew I shouldn't have went over his house over the weekend. How could I be so stupid? I'm tired of this hood mess and stuff, man. I'm about to get on with my life, get on the track that my dad on. Stay out of the streets and stuff. Start hanging around the corners with my friends. Get a life, get an education. Go to college somewhere. Be a famous football player or something. Oh my gosh, what is going on? First, Kareem fights for me. Second, I'm not feeling Devon anymore. Maybe my dad was right. Boys are really, really stupid. But I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling. I'm, I'm actually feeling Kareem. I can't. No, he. No, he's not stunting a girl like me. He's from the other side of town, the rich people. But why would he fight for me? <sighs> I can't do it. I have so much going on. I keep mixing up my steps over and over again. Ever since that day with Uncle Ron, I'm not even gonna bring that up. Chanel, stop bringing up the past. And look into your future. You got this. Just take it one step at a time. Try and help my mom. I'm trying to take up for Jaden. But they don't seem to understand that. I got jumped, ended up in the hospital. And then I was in class trying to pass a note, be stuff, and then Kiana had to read it all out with her ghetto mouth. And then they think I'm on the rich side and I live in a hotel with my mom and sister. I'm rich. I need to talk to you. Uh, I need some advice for my friend at school. He kind of got himself in um, a little bit of trouble. Okay, so what's up? He got this girl pregnant. You got a girl pregnant? Yeah, 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 I need some advice. I'm just coming like as a friend. I just need some advice. How old is this friend? 13. 13. 
Devin. Stop playing with me, boy. What are you talking about? I'm Look, I'm not just your teacher. I'm your mother. Okay. So what are you trying to say? I need some advice from my friend. My, my Devin, teacher. don't play with me. For who and what are you trying to say? Talk to me. I, I got you, to go pregnant. That's Devin, do you realize what you just said to me? You just said you got a girl pregnant. You said you got a girl pregnant, Devin. Are you serious right now? Mom. Are you serious, Devin? I did not raise you like this. Devin, I worked two jobs to put them shoes on your feet, clothes on your back. Are you telling me you got somebody pregnant? Look at me like that. Look at yeah. Devin, just like your father. Devin, you telling me you got somebody pregnant? Mom. Mom. Devin, are you serious? Devin, you trying to embarrass me in front of all these teachers? You know I work here. You know what? You got to talk to your father. Devin, get up. Get up! Get out, Devin! Get out! Get out! some really horrible things to you in Nurse Goodman's office, and I could never be disappointed in you. I was shocked, but never disappointed. I have to ask you to please forgive me. As your, a mother, I only want the best for my child, and the only thing I saw was you being a baby and what you were gonna do. So I love you and I support you. We have some important decisions to make. Um, regardless if you choose to keep the baby or not, this is a life-altering decision, and it's going to change your life forever. Yeah, I want to finish school, so I don't know. As I said before, I support you with it in this together. And I'm sorry, because I know I let you down. I want to show you did not disappoint you. Number two. You don't? Alright, Jada, come on up. I can't write. I can't write. 
Alright, I need you to do this problem at your seat as well because we're going to check with each other to make sure we got it right, okay? Okay. 
All right. You're right. Absolutely. So let's just go ahead. Just and understand that I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to do what I can through the arts for these children. Right. Because they need it. They need it so bad. I need you to understand that. Javante is my most prized student. He has the most potential out of all of my students. Do you know how talented he is? I do know how talented my son is. So you understand why I'm spending so much time with him? I do. Will you come and help out for the performance? I try my best to do what I can do. I would appreciate it so much. It would really mean a lot to me. Um, Ms. Ed, yes. if you don't mind, um, I would like to say a few things. Um, I just wanted to point out the fact that Tiffany, ever since she's joined um, in partnership with you, she has improved so much. And I really thank you for that because you saw something in her that I didn't see. And now that I see it, it's like, okay, that's awesome, and I just want to support her the best way I can. And I can't provide everything, but everything that I can do, I will do. So you have my 100% support. Thank you so much. And I always want to do something to help save the art, so I'll be happy to volunteer my time. Great. Great. Thank you so much, Ms. Johnson. I appreciate you, ladies. So I can count on you all to come help out at the performance next of week? Of course. And if you Great. give her 110%, I promise you, you'll get that. Okay, so I have your numbers, I have your emails. I will contact you in the next week and give you all the details. And I'll be emailing the flyers as well. Great. Okay, Great. all right, let's get the community involved. Let's do this. Let's all support right. our kids. Let's go again. Yeah. All right. Thank you, ladies. Y'all have a good evening. So oh it's going to be great. We'll I'll see y'all. All right, all right. good night. Y'all get home safe now. You too. All right, thank you.